Hello guys, in this video we'll be talking about how to make the fan blade of a turbo fan engine. So basically I'm gonna be talking about how to make this fan here, not the entire stage. Well the entire stage is actually a circular pattern of this one fan here. So I used the engine trend 1000 from Rolls Royce to make uh, this. I used the Trend 1000 as a reference for this engine. You can see in my that you see in my desktop. Well, it's not exactly up to scale, or not or not all the values are perfect because most of these values you cannot find anywhere because it's it's kind of like a top secret, you know, engine. I mean, top secret company information. <laughs> I can say that. So, but for today's video, we'll be talking more about the latest engine by General Electric for the 777X, the GENX. So I've already made a, a blade design here and this design is based off of the GE, not the NX, GE9X. So uh, I cannot get most of the values from uh, the internet. The only thing that I could estimate was the length of the blade and uh, so we are going to be using that data here to just uh, make this blade and i'll be showing you one method that i feel is the most appropriate method to make this even though i'm doing a lot of changes here and there i think the method we uh, method we use to draw the profiles uh, profiles of the blade itself is uh, one of the pro one of the methods that i used in university to do my projects so i feel that is a bit more um bit more better method to do the designing of a blade so we'll get started with that so so we're gonna start a new part and we're gonna start by sketching the base of the blade so let's start the sketch uh, by using the top plane as our base and we're going to use more number of sketches for the loft. We're going to be using the loft function here and uh, the other catch is that we're not going to use the guide curves for the loft. Instead, we're going to use more than two sketches for the loft. So we are basically going to profile the blade by using sketches. So let's start by the base or the root of the blade and so I'm drawing a vertical line I mean a horizontal line here and then another line and we're gonna give it a constraint of a 10, 10 degrees so this line can be called as the blade cord and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a value for the blade cord say the bottom of the blade that is the root of the blade should be like say it's 250 millimeter uh, millimeters that is 25 centimeters just under a foot and this is gonna be two lines and I want these lines to be perpendicular to the blade cord and I will show you why I want these lines to be perpendicular to the cord uh, let's say this let's just make this a foot so 300 millimeters and so when we start doing the profile of the blade we should all understand that even a blade is not as sharp as it as it sounds it's it always has a fillet or a or a rounded edge uh, on the leading and trailing edges so it, it always has a diameter towards the edge edge so we're gonna give a diameter to the edge of the blade so since this is the root of the blade the diameter of the uh, leading and trailing edges are always gonna be a bit higher compared to the tip of the blade and uh, let's say that the diameter of this edge would be like five millimeters and we're go also gonna draw another one here and let's say the diameter of this edge be four millimeters just uh, this is not a perfect I mean this is just to show you how it's done it has no mathematical 
uh, or analytical solutions that back it up so I'm just giving you a, a vague idea of how to draw this so we have to give two rounded edges and that's why we are using two circles here and since that's done now we're gonna do draw another circle here towards the middle and usually the center or the or the middle portion of the blade is relatively thicker compared to the leading and trailing edge so we're gonna give this a, a thickness of say 10 millimeters and also the blade always has a curvature to it and we're gonna use this circle sketch here to give the blade the curvature so this the maximum thickness of the blade when I did my calculations at my university I used the maximum thickness of the blade to be about one-thirds of uh, a wave one-thirds of the length away from the leading edge of the blade that is one-thirds of the blade core but yeah and uh, in this uh, in this calculations we are going to calculation we are going to use the same so one-third of 300 is going to be about 100 millimeters and we're just going to put that there and there's another parameter that we should take into account that is called the blade sag that is the distance from which the maximum thickness or this or the center of the maximum thickness is going to be from the blade cord so that is going to be this distance here that is the blade sag so let's say the maximum distance or the sag be uh, 15 millimeters and we're going to use these three sketches here to profile the blade and now for the final profiling we're going to use the arc here and we're going to use the three point arc and we're going to sketch it on these three circles so the first point is going to be on that one and the second point is going to be on this circle and the last point on the middle circle so now we have the arc now all we have to do is give relations that is tangent relation for that one another tangent relation for this one here and there we go we have the face or the back of the blade and now we're gonna do the same for the other side for the other face of the blade and there we go I'm gonna use the same thing here here we have a slight problem sometimes so make that tangent there and then a tangent here and finally make it tangent to this circle here there we go we have the basic sketch of a blade and now all we're gonna do is trim out the, this axis bits over here and I'd say you keep this there and make it a construction line because now we have the primary sketch and the good thing is about a good thing about drawing this and making this sketch fully defined that is when this sketch is completely black that means it is fully defined so the good thing about using this sketch and making it fully defined is that we can use the same sketch and just edit it so if i if i wanted wanted to make the length even more if i wanted to make it even more longer I, I just have to type in the value here and it just extends out so I can just edit it however I want it so we're gonna use the same sketch to do multiple profiles by just changing the values of each and every one of these circles and semicircles or arcs here so that is the blade base and we're gonna exit the sketch and from the estimation that I did from the images that I got from the internet I found out that the length of the blade is approximately a hundred and 
30 or 140 millimeters I'm not sure not millimeters centimeters that uh, that's about 1.3 to 1.4 meters I'm not ex exactly sure I'm just saying so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the top lane as a reference put a distance of 1400 millimeters over there and that is my second sketch and I'm just gonna sketch on this plane so now we know the how the base looks like and what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste this sketch on this on the new sketch there we go we have the entire sketch here and we're just gonna move this sketch to say here and the reason why I'm doing this you you'll see in a while okay so I have got that now I'm gonna change the dimensions of this profile so let's say the tip of the blade is uh, the, uh, the cord length of the tip of the blade is about 750 millimeters that is wide that is a wide blade and that's the reason why it's called a wide cord blade so and one third of 750 would be 250 so we have that there and the radius of the tips would be different so five millimeters in this case let's let's say about a millimeter over there and the trailing edge would be the same let's say again a millimeter over there and the bay and the middle portion let's say five millimeters so that would be the tip of the blade and the other thing is the tip of the blade would never have the same attack angle as the base of the blade so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this the other way so in order to make the attack angle even more or the other thing that you can do is change the attack angle over here so since it's 10 degrees we're gonna increase it to say like 40 degrees I will just see so there we go we have increased the attack angle over there and we'll just give it a little more tweak 45 that seems pretty good so now what we have we have to change we have to change the position of this entire sketch we're just gonna move it and what I'm gonna what I'm doing right now is I'm just I'm not doing it accurately I'm just placing this profile wherever I think would look good on the part so I would just place it somewhere there and in the same way I would make the other profiles and you and you, the thing is you cannot understand the final product of what you did until you do the loft so you might have to do a little bit of trial and error here and there so just make the other sketches for this loft okay there we go so I have made the other two sketches for the profile so these are the next two sketches that I did so the first of all what I did is I made two planes that are equally distant equidistant away equidistant from the top lane so this plane is 275 millimeters away and this plane is again 275 millimeters away from this plane that makes it a combination of 550 millimeters and the other thing what I did is I changed the angle of the blade as I progressed to the bottom and the first thing that I did is the blade and the the profile of the blade in this plane that is the first plane towards the bottom I have shift I, I just shifted the location of the blade toward a little bit towards the inside and then the following profile on the next plane was pushed out a little bit and also the dimensions of the blade cord was changed and also that of the center profile 
center of the blade so basically i took this this one sketch and modified it in each of these three planes so the whole idea is to make this blade look good and uh, not perform good so anyway we are not going to do any analysis on this so the whole idea is to make it look good that's it and now we have all the four profiles and we're just going to use the law function and just see how it looks like so just click on these profiles here how I, our blade should look so there we go it looks pretty okay and uh, we never use any guide curves so the reason why I'm saying this is a better idea is because it is easy for us to estimate how the profile of the blade would look in a certain position say the root or the tip or the mean of the blade and that's how we did the calculations and it was it's a much simpler method and but the thing is uh, it's a primitive method it's not nowadays so well this is much more closer to the engineering side so this is what we get and the rest is a little bit of detailing that we do on the same blade and if you want to make the leading edge stand out the titanium tip or steel or whatever it is I'm not sure what material it is it differs from blade to blade so to make that leading edge we're gonna make use of the split line function and for that we we have to draw a sketch and we're gonna do that on the front plane here and we're gonna use the spline function here so let's put one there and one there and there and we're just gonna adjust it using these here and that looks pretty okay let's just make this a little bit even yep that should be okay so we're gonna use that and we're gonna do the split line function here so we have the line here and the surface there so we're just gonna click okay and there we go so we have the leading edge and the body of the blade Okay guys that's how we make the body of the blade and this is how the fan, fan blade is to me according to me this is how it's made properly so so in the next coming videos we're gonna talk about how to make the blade lock that is the dovetail lock at the bottom and we're on a, also gonna get into a little bit about rendering the blade and uh, we'll see how it looks like okay guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and oh hold on subscribe and like my videos too okay guys thank you guys see ya